Two weeks ago, I showed Zach Midnight's by Taylor Swift. And after having those two weeks to really take the album in and do a deep dive, we're going to go through our three favorite songs. My third favorite song off this album was the opening track, Lavender Haze. I uh, loved this song for a lot of reasons. I love Jack's production. I love just the tone um, with the synth pop heavy production on it. I think the music video is also really cool. It fits the whole vibe. And yeah, it just stays stuck in my head and, and has since I heard it the first time. Yeah, that like falsetto. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, we won't sing it. Yeah. What's your third favorite? So my third favorite would have to be Bigger Than the Whole Sky, which mm. is technically on the bonus side of this. That Very track nice. is just so beautiful, but also emotional. I don't know. It's just got a little bit of everything, and that, that hook just really gets stuck in my head, especially as it. The way she it sings the, the falsetto when she's actually saying Bigger Than the Whole Sky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Gives so it chills. Yeah. Good choice. So, what's your second favorite? So my second favorite song is Snow on the Beach. Okay. Featuring Lana Del Rey. Lana's his girl. If you watch this channel, you know I love Lana Del Rey. I liked both versions of this song, to be honest with you. Um, but I just love this song because the lyrics are kind of trippy. It's weird and effing beautiful. It's just a weird situation and- uh, Weird visual too. Yeah. And I just, I, I love Lana's voice so much. So yeah, that's just, a good choice. Yeah, just the fact that she's on it, um, and and you know, and like the fact that Jack has produced for her as well. I just yeah, just cool vibes. collab between them all. Yeah, for sure. That was one that took a while to grow on me. The first few times I was like, okay. I loved it from the second I heard it, just because I, I think Lana took a while to grow on me, but once I got hooked on her, it I don't know. As soon as I heard it, I was like, just like yes. What's your second favorite? My second favorite is Labyrinth. Okay. I love the whole build up in that, the instrumentation in it, and really what caught me was the whole I'm falling in love again section at the end where there's a deep pitch vocal there mm -hmm. over top of her singing it. I don't know. I just love all the vocal effects there that it builds up to, and it's just a vibe. So what's your favorite off the album? Then? So my favorite drum roll is Maroon. Dude, that bass on it. Like I've said in so many of our Taylor Swift videos, I just love the deep layers of the vocals in this song. Mm -hmm. I feel like it takes you through different moments in time. Like maroon, the color actually represent, you know, it's represented by different things throughout the song. She talks about that. the stain on her sweater. She talks about like rust and things like that. And it just very much to me feels like moving on from something, but still, carrying the scars of of that and i don't know i just really resonated with that song the more and more i listened to it the more i, I loved it yeah definitely maroon i'd say is probably my favorite love that one from the first time i heard that production i was sucked in yeah deep bass but it's still kind of like down tempo mm. it just caught me one day i had it on and um i heard a couple lines and i love when that happens with songs like it's you know it's just unexpected and it caught me and i just fell in love with it what's your favorite song gotta be dear reader mm. epic track i not only love you know her writing in it where it's her kind of giving advice but then also saying you shouldn't trust what i'm saying because i don't have it all figured out either self-awareness dude yeah. Yeah. i love that honesty how she's saying like um you know you're listening to somebody that's four drinks in writing about their ex-boyfriend like i don't know i just love that honesty in it and i love the production of it like they go off with the vocal effects you know i'm a fan of that yes so many pitches and builds in it and it's just a vibe that was very unique to me i haven't heard something quite like that i'm definitely gonna honorable mention that song for me as well because yeah just the whole why you listen, you know, like, I'm just as flawed as you. Right. I, you know, um, don't, you know, I don't know. It just speaks to like he, the hero worship and stuff of celebrity, which I just find so fascinating. Yeah. And nobody has it all figured out. No. I mean, even somebody that's been through life, they're still making mistakes, no matter how old they are. No. Everybody's yeah. learning. Yeah. And not everybody's got all the answers. No. I mean, I feel, yeah. I, yeah. It doesn't matter 
who you are when it comes to some things we're all gonna you know stumble and grow and things like that and yeah and i'm saying like don't take my advice you know like don't don't just because i've lived these experiences in this way doesn't you know mean that it's a standard or that you need to do it that way or anything like that so yeah really cool i just i love when taylor is like just like so Mm self-aware like that so good call i love this album uh overall i love this album i should say it was my favorite up until tortured poets department yeah just kind of took over our lives a little bit here yeah (laughs) it's also taken over our channel a little bit so if you're here and you haven't seen our videos on that and you like that album be sure to check that out um check out our channel for other reactions we have all different kinds of stuff you got any other thoughts on midnights just really cool album i love the concept of it the visuals that went with it was really interesting and yeah the cohesive sound i really enjoyed great album be so creative yeah super cool so appreciate y'all watching we'll catch you in the next video yeah appreciate it Peace. later